Welcome back, everybody. You got Will and I, man, here from the Block Runner Meta Zone, Rovi and Mscrab, and today we're going to be talking about Ton, some hamsters, hamsters, and some Web three games. Hell yeah, dude! <sighs> Gaming, our favorite subject, right? It is. <laughs> I guess. I mean, mostly. Yeah, we used to talk about gaming, hardcore gaming, all the time. Because we were hardcore gamers, right? Well, yeah. I was. I don't know about you. I mean, I did my damage in <laughs> Counter-Strike my, in my day. All right. You're like bronze tier, <laughs> fucking whatever the fuck league you're in, I'm sure it was amazing Dude, I was, uh, I was diamond tier. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> Wood league. Wood, Wood league. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the the this, um the opportunity is different nowadays, right? It's not about like how many things have changed, I man. Quite a bit since like when we were children. <laughs> it's not all about like how many headshots can you accrue. You know, I I am interested if Counter Strike had some sort of like Web three element where I could earn tokens. Would I play more as a kid or or not? As a kid? Yeah, as a kid. Like if we just run it back, yeah. but inject Web three into it. I mean, as a kid, you wouldn't really think of the financial ramifications of what you're doing, period, right? If part of the game is just I'm playing and I'm getting these tokens, and with these tokens, I can buy cool stuff for my guns yeah, and stuff. That's right, yeah. I mean, you would do that anyways, so like not realizing like this is real cash, right? It's true, yeah. It's your kid. Kids don't think about shit like that unless like you're like, you know. Unless you're like an economics or freak. <laughs> Or you're like, you know, you're like slumming it and your mom and dad are like in the coal mines all day. It's like, you know what? Maybe I should help. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> let's play some games. Or let us let me sell some of these like coins on the open market yeah, exchange right. and I could help mom and dad. Right? Yeah. That's the future we're headed towards, right? Where the fucking kids aren't as useless as they are today. <laughs> 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 they can actually help pay the bills. Yeah, yeah, you for know? sure. But fucking kids playing Roblox all day, they're actually... They're actually assisting for once. <laughs> yeah, I that's can see that. It's <laughs> it's already kind of happening. Well, that's the whole mission statement of uh, Web3 uh, play-to-earn economics, right? Right, right. So let's talk about that because, um, I mean, here we are. We're in the Bitcoin slash ordinals space. Yeah. And um, we haven't really talked too much about gaming. It's been mostly about, you know, what's the next fungible token protocol going to be? Mm -hmm. you know, how do we expand on ordinals with things like DMT? What about the metaverse, the things with bitmap and such, but like gaming, we haven't really touched on that because there really Correct. hasn't been much of like a gaming space, and it, it's been difficult to kind of determine how that was even going to be built. Yeah, but nonetheless, it's still it was one of the main talking points of the last cycle, right after Axie Infinity. It was, yeah. Everything was play to earn, move to Everything. earn. That's right. Step in. Step in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you just walk to earn, pop popcorn to earn. I yeah. don't know if that was actually a thing, but it got pretty intense. Insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We're talking like huge Silicon Valley VCs backing these these initiatives. Yeah, and it wasn't sustainable. That was the ultimate like realization. It's like as cool as this is conceptually, it's like we could just issue tokens for activity. Mm -hmm. Figuring out how that doesn't ultimately result in just number go down. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's been the ultimate challenge, right? Yeah, but correct. Here we are a few years later, and everybody's saying Ton has figured it out. So, what do you think? For now. Well, let's look into it, dude. Yeah. All right. All right so, so we're looking at this thing called Hamster Combat. And it's a game that you play on Telegram. You join All right, what's Telegram, first of all? Telegram is a chat app. Li okay, literally, like... Yeah, you just, like, join groups and you chat away, and that's pretty It's like WhatsApp. It. It's like WhatsApp, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, most of you guys probably know this. Telegram has been, like, deeply part of crypto. I, yeah. I remember... Whenever you got on Telegram, that's yeah. how I knew you were into crypto. It's like, <laughs> Will, you're in crypto? <laughs> yeah. It's like, who the fuck else joins Telegram? This is back in like... 2017. 2018? 2017? Mm -hmm. 17, yeah. Yeah, that's like when that's, Telegram... That's when they first started. Yeah, it was literally only crypto people and probably like a couple like online prostitutes or something on the side. Still is, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's there still. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Um, but it's expanded quite significantly since then. Yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, I see people like regular yeah, people. Me too. Like just join. It's like, yeah, what are you doing it, here? Yeah, this <laughs> uh, all of a sudden it's not about crypto anymore. Apparently not, because they're boasting like numbers in the billions, right? Yeah, or at least like very close to that. Yeah. So okay, what is this so, hamster game? So anyway, in, so in context um, of all that. So they have this this hamster game where basically you tap to earn. <laughs> And it's a it's a it's a hamster and it's like hairless and then you <laughs> tap it and then you earn these tokens and then you buy these assets that 
help you increase these like token yield. Does it give you hair over time or something? It gives you clothes over time. Maybe hair too. And okay. you're like you're like a hamster CEO. <laughs> okay, right on, dude. <laughs> Sounds fucking perfect. <laughs> okay. And then uh and then you just like keep tapping away and then that's it. So you you literally mean tap. Like literally like literally tap pull the phone. up your phone and there's like a circle in the middle of it. Yeah. And you're just tapping it yeah. with your other finger. Don't tap with one finger, tap with four though. Like this. Don't be a loser. <laughs> Don't be a you gotta be a try hard. Yeah. Like Oh. Or or just tap with all. I've four seen fingers. people literally with like vibrators, like above <laughs> above their finger, like <laughs> like infinite tap ability. Dude. Yeah, you don't even need to use your own physiology. Yeah, and so yeah. As, as you're tapping, there's like a meter of energy that goes down as as yeah. quickly as you tap. But you want to progress for that reason, right? To increase yeah. your efficiency. Correct. And that way you can earn quicker. So why why earn these points? Well, these points are going to equate to an airdrop that they're going to mm. be doing and. Mm. I think part of it is like pinging Binance and all that so they can launch yeah. properly and all that. So, <laughs> well, that's quite the, it's a social engineering. Well, it's, it's quite design. the, it's quite the pitch to Binance and everybody's like, look, here's this token. Here's 50 million people, in, you know, working to yeah. extract this token. You know, uh, how about listing? Yeah, that's right. It's like pff, no brainer, right? Yeah. You come to me with anything that says I got 50 million active users. Like uh, I'm in, I'm in on this. Yeah, right? so. for sure. So this is what the positioning Ton has that pretty much no nothing else in Web3 has is like this existing user base. So yeah, right? I mean we're looking at 23 million users, 40 million for Notcoin. Um so the current market cap of Ton is like 19.4 billion. Yeah. And uh yeah, so this is what's happening on Ton and it seems yeah, like it's, it's raising eyebrows. Now people are like Shit, maybe Web3 Gaming is back. Maybe it's right. it's realized. Tan just figured it out. Yeah, yeah. Right? So what do you think? What's your gut instinct reaction? What's well, I, I think there's a combination of factors here. The fact that it's on a cell phone and the fact that um, a lot of these players are in the demographic where earning is like a motivator versus like entertaining because this is not an entertaining game whatsoever. <laughs> no. You just tap and then you... The number goes up, and then you spend that number for the number to go up further mm. and faster. Okay. And that's about it. <clears throat> so let's go forward or back in time to another instance of this actually occurring. Well, there's – um, so th they break down the airdrop here in this yeah. tweet thread here. Okay. But yeah. let's, let's go back in time, and let's look at Axie Infinity. Yeah, so there was a point in time where millions of people, again, yeah. were, were doing their – Engaging in some activity to basically be a part of uh, this, this token model, right? Yeah. So back in then, it was called Axie Scholarships. Basically, if I owned Axies, I could onboard just regular users from around the corners of the earth. Yeah, but the scholarship was like a new thing, a new concept at the time. And, and yeah. the reason was is because you had people with money who would buy these Axies, mm -hmm. and then people without money would get loaned these Axies to actually play the game to earn the token. Correct. And so then there's like the scholarship program that allowed the person with money to earn yield based off of somebody else playing. Yeah. So it was a nice little symbiotic relationship, essentially. It right. created like a whole multi-million user base. And, um, you know, that was like the big eureka moment in Web3 Gaming. We remember. Yeah. Because we were there during the early days, early stages. It's like, how the hell is this ever going to take off? Well, because at the time when we saw it, it was just a game. And then mm -hmm. afterwards, they implemented scholarships. And it was really implemented by the community first. Right, but it's tapping into basically the same sector that you're seeing here on Ton. Yeah, the 100%. same user demographic of people who are just looking to participate and like allocate X amount of time of, of no cost to them because they don't have anything to contribute as far as cost. Right. Correct. I don't. Correct. I can't give you five hundred dollars Axie to get like my my first group of Axies. Yeah. So I can start earning. Like to me, that's like I'd have to work six months to save up that kind of money. So yeah. I'm already out. Yeah. Right, that was kind of the part of the issue with Axie. Yeah, until they opened it up to where it was like a freemium model to participate, everything exploded, right? So that was a big eureka moment. But as you can see on this graph, yeah, not sustainable. When things go up, they also go down. Yeah, because as you onboard more and more people here, they're just looking to extract. They're not looking to reinvest into the ecosystem in any way. Yeah, correct. All that does is, is bring in just an unsurmountable amount of cell pressure, basically. Yeah, I mean, the... This rise was insane when it was happening. Well, yeah, because like you said, it was the new thing, right? Yeah. It was the eureka moment. I mean, we're talking from like 10 million market cap to 10 billion. Yeah. What is that, 1,000x? 1,000x, yeah. 
Yeah, these are these are the unicorns, right? This is what we're all looking for, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. This is and again, we were there in the very beginning days of this, where it was like ten million market cap, and I remember. So here we are. We're talking Bitcoin, right? Is there any potential for this in the Bitcoin space? That's really what we want to talk about. Right. So um, these links are just here to kind of br break down what AXS is. Mm -hmm. uh, but here we're looking at BTC Machine, mm. and they're approaching their number of players, at, which is connected at the very moment, and all-time high has re been reached. 200 users, dude. 200 users. I mean, from BTC Machine and Satoria perspective, so we're going to break down what that is in a second, but this is like a monumental achievement, or else they well, wouldn't be tweeting about it, right? For sure, but we got to go back to the Axie Infinity days when we were – in Decentraland, we were watching people play, mm -hmm. and at, at its peak, it was hundreds of players at a time. Yeah. I remember those days. We were, like, they were or organizing tournaments and yeah. leaderboard events and stuff. Yeah. And it's, like, it, it was amazing to see 200 people actually, like, were competing for, yeah. I don't know, some... Some, some NFT SL, prize. Some, some, some NFTs or whatever. Yeah. I was like, holy crap, it's actually happening. Right. <laughs> right. Little did we know this shit was going to balloon into millions of people, so... It's kind of amazing to see the contrast of like what's happening on Ton. Yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of millions of people are like engaged over there. I mean, Ton, I mean, they already have hundreds of millions of people just like sending messages to each other. Yeah. And so they had a user base already. Now they just add like this like tokenomics gameplay. Literally buttons. Yeah. I wouldn't even necessarily know. I mean, there is. Yeah, there, there is a game component to it, but yeah. the, the function is to tap on the phone. Correct. Like you said, there's no actual game. When you speak of games, you think of like entertainment and fun. Correct. Yeah. Typically, that's the gaming industry has their intention has been to supply humanity with entertainment. Yeah. Up until now, like I, so, I wouldn't even know if I would categorize this as like gaming. This is just no. Uh, yeah. Engaging. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it's like engagement. This farming. is the engagement industry. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So this can be packaged and utilized for different means, right? Like let's let's galvanize all this engagement. Sure. For the production of something real, potentially, on the metaverse, right? Yeah, and, and part of the reason of Ton, like, kind of putting this together is because they're they're monetizing the eyeballs through advertisement. That's too, yeah. And that's, like, extremely critical because when we were thinking about this, we were like, there has to be some sort of value extracted by tapping the button or pulling the lever or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the value extraction is the eyeballs being fed in advertisement. Yeah. Which, I mean, if that's not a Black Mirror episode, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we, <laughs> dude, we're we inundated with this since we were yeah. kids. Like, we would watch TV <laughs> fucking ads all the time, dude. Yeah, but again, TV was actually, like, entertaining, dude. Like, well, I, It, it yeah. wasn't, like, forcing me to click a button. You know? That's true. This is different. But, but clicking a button and entertainment, they, they, they have the same end game, right? Well. It's like eyes on screen. Well, this is my thinking because there's like there's there's different demographics and we've it's a psychological hierarchy that's actually been yeah. well documented. It's called <laughs> Maslow's hierarchy hierarchy of needs, right? Yeah, let me pull that up. It's out there. So there's there are human beings on different ends of the spectrum of this like reality of of uh, individual, I guess, uh, actualization. Yeah. Right. So here it is. <sighs> These are the different levels. So. Starting out at the very, the trenches, these are physiological needs. We're talking about, like, things you need just to stay alive. Yeah, air, right? water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, and reproduction. So for the longest time, humanity's just been struggling just to, just to like, fulfill this. Yeah, right? you could argue that a, a huge portion of humanity is still in this zone. Oh, absolutely. There are. So it's like, they don't have clean air. They don't have sources of reliable, clean water, yeah. food, whatever. So they're stuck in this trench. So it's like... The very tippity top is self actualization, desire to become the most that one can be. Yeah, that's not most <laughs> that's of not humanity. Most of, that's right. If you're fortunate, so this is the dilemma of like the metaverse is to unburden the unfortunate result of geopositional spacing based on birth. Yeah. Right. Nobody had any control on like where you were born, what what environment or conditions you were bestowed onto you. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just a roll of the RNG dice that that, that we call life. Hundred percent. Yeah. Most of us who are here watching this, we're probably, like, pretty fortunate, right, as far as, like, on this scale? Correct. Like, physiological needs? Yeah, I mean, really, us? ask yourself, you know, where do you personally lie within this, this yeah. like, hierarchy? 
Yeah, most people are probably trapped in love and belonging. <laughs> <laughs> trapped. It's like, fuck, dude, nobody loves me. You know, so you like, I don't have any friends. Yeah, no friends, fucking no love. So hopefully you could traverse. That is one hell of a <laughs> trench to get past. If you yeah, can figure that out. It's definitely not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. And then here we go. Esteem. Now it's like, let me focus on my career. Let me focus on my talents. Yeah. Right. Because everything else is, is realized. Like I got loving support. Sure. You know, I know I don't have to worry about getting shot, you know, or yeah. like a fucking missile coming through my, my apartment window. Yeah. <laughs> Shit like this. Right. I can focus on bigger things. Correct. To improve myself as a being. So, yeah. So these are the different demographics. Us Westerners, we grew up enjoying entertainment and gaming because most of this stuff was like fulfilled for us, right? For sure. So, but yeah. there's a large segment of humanity. They, they, they're they still trying to work their way up the trench. Yeah. So if somebody presents to me a button that yeah. tells me I can, they can yeah, contribute towards my traversing of these trenches. Yeah, like, you I'm have gonna economic it. opportunity by pu- pushing a button. Yeah, like I'm in. Yeah. And we're talking a lot of people are in on that, right? Yeah, so. and... Yeah, there's a lot of combination of factors here. It's like it's a cell phone. Most most of the planet yeah. has cell phones. 100%. Yeah. Like that's that's what's crazy is that they may not have like air, water, food and shelter, but they have a cell phone. That's like insane. It is insane. That's a superpower gifted to humanity. It is. It's, a, it's a superpower for sure. And that's the access point to where again, the access point for now to the metaverse, which is the metaverse is supposed to be what solves this problem. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that, but it's like, doesn't matter where I am on earth. As long as I have access to this portal, to this like digital existence layer, yeah. this, this digital economy, I could, I could leverage that, participate in that and uh, decumber myself from my yeah. physical reality. Right. 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 So here we are. Okay. So we established the thesis, <laughs> <laughs> like the metaverse actually is a big deal. Yeah. And, um, you know, engaging to earn for things. Yeah. Th- that. That it's, will make yeah. headlines when somebody says, you know, I played this game and here's my Lambo as a result. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. And here's here's the start of it. We have this guy, Magmon, just sold or so this this sword just sold for seventeen thousand Z bits, almost twenty grand. Yeah, which is a rune token, right? So people are like, are runes worth anything? Or like fungible tokens on Bitcoin? I mean, yeah, it's part of like a, a game economy, right? So yeah. things are actually happening here within Satoria. So let's figure out what Satoria so is. So what is Satoria? So here's some <laughs> gameplay. Um, I think it's this one. It's definitely not that one. Definitely not. <laughs> it was on the home page of the website. Oh, man. It's over. Well, now we'll never know what Satoria is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right. All right, so let me just show you some gameplay. That way you guys understand. So yeah. it's like a MMORPG. Yeah. And you just kind of hack and slash, and you kind of earn these, like, these stuff. Stuff. In-game items to yeah. progress, get new items, new weapons. Everybody who's played a game knows how this works, right? So yeah. it's very basic in gameplay, uh, reminiscent of, like, old-school Maple Story, mm-hmm. which I played a lot as a... Never played. As a young lad. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> no wonder I ended up so much cooler than you, dude. I, I told you to stop playing, dude. You're like, I like these little. What are, what are the characters? Little flowers. <laughs> you the little mushrooms, dude. Little. Yeah, what, that's what I said. Flowers, dude. Yeah, whatever. Little mushrooms, the little <laughs> fucking bubble creatures. Yeah, it, it was pretty, we- pretty weird. It was like your dad walks in. <laughs> yeah, I can hear some music on the back end here. What was that? Is that me? Yeah, oh, it's yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's not mention my dad walking in. I'll be playing that <laughs> game, but <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, it was um, it's a viable game. And these guys are building a viable game on Bitcoin, right? And uh, tying, you know, native primitives, rune tokens and ordinals yeah. and stuff within that experience. So, yeah, they have 200 users today. And some people might scoff at that. It's like, right. <laughs> you Bitcoin devs, why aren't you <laughs> spending all your time on Ton? They have a, a billion users. Right, right, right. Why would you be doing anything on Bitcoin? Because it's Bitcoin. It's Bitcoin, right? There's yeah. a there's something there that's obviously not obvious that we see. I don't understand show. how one point three trillion dollars is not obvious. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. So that's why we're making this video, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. So so, so Natamon. Mm-hmm. So another uh, game being built. Another on game on DMT uh, on Bitcoin. And here's their uh, Git book that kind of explains their functionality. But we also have some, a uh, little bit of a video here, mm-hmm. just to kind of show you that this is a trading card game 
that's going to be playable, and all these assets are going to be based off of this non arbitrary aspect of Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. And uh, this this is going to be happening soon. It's it's happening. <laughs> yeah. So we're excited about this because you know we're we're watching the development happening behind the scenes. I mean, we we understand the gravity, the potential of gaming on Bitcoin, or else we wouldn't be making this video, right? Because yeah. we, we've seen gaming like emerge and proliferate in Web 3s past, and again, we're seeing parallels. Again, in this like ordinals gaming space of so what we saw in early NFT days, like who's gonna build killer games yeah. with NFTs, right? And yeah, those attempts they look like they would never go anywhere, but they became the darlings and the unicorns of the yeah. market cycle. So yeah. here's the potential, dude. So yeah, this is a turn based game. We'll have a lot more details. This is like still a work in progress, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is just a kind of an introduction to Atomon. Um, another one, Foxy, they're building a metaverse and mm. they're going to be deploying a, what's called a bit miner. Mm. And so this is a little teaser of what that looks like. And so now you're looking at this deployable oh, asset. I never noticed. Can you rewind that? Uh, maybe like all the way back, 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 back. Do you see like, I never noticed like the little dollar oh. sign popping out. There's a diamond. Yeah. It's mining tokens. A dude. Bitcoin. That's, I never noticed that for some reason. That's pretty cool. In case you didn't know what the hell this thing actually does. It's extracting value from your bitmap. Yeah. That's actually crazy. If you think about it, cause the bitmap thesis was always like, you know, at some point, some sort of, sort of commodity extraction event would happen. Right. So obviously right. a lot of technology, primitives would need to kind of prelude that realization correct and that's what dmt has been all about is getting us to that point where somebody could build something like this that's deployable onto a bitmap yeah and start extracting non-arbitrary tokens natively as a result yeah and finally they have a uh, a sign up page to go and, and test out this metaverse so uh we already signed up definitely you guys need to do that too and uh hopefully we can see you jumping Look, in here and there it is extracting uh, digital commodities, dude. Yeah, this is it. This is actually what it looks like in game. <clears throat> so it has like a whole in game interface that determines, you know, there's different properties that ter- determine like mining efficiencies and such. Mm-hmm. Uh, but look at that thing, dude. So once once uh, this interface, like once they see this video, all of a sudden there's going to be a giant circle where you get to tap, <laughs> tap, the, <laughs> tap the tokens. Yeah, so that's one of the things about what's different about, you know, the metaverse in its current stage. You can't really like put this all on a mobile device, at least not uh, yet. Yeah, that's right. As easily as you can as like you know, a phone app. Yeah, you definitely can. It's just it does take some engineering. Yeah. Uh, but the whole point is is that this 3D model is going to be unique 3D assets for every single, uh, like unit. Correct. Right. So. Yeah, but this is still it's 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 in parallel to what's going to make the metaverse actually engaging, right? Yeah, it is goes back to this. Yeah, it's like the metaverse and Web three is supposed to tap into like an ep- economic opportunity. Correct. And for those in the West, they're not necessarily looking for economic ac- opportunity. No, they're looking for entertainment. Yeah, which contributes to self actualization, esteem, whatever. I do good in a yeah. game, my esteem is up. You know, yeah, I, I get ranked ten prestige. My I'm, I'm I've actualized my. Even though you really haven't, yeah. <laughs> but it feels like you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm victim to that, you know, mind manipulation tactics of like the video game industry. Like I would spend, I spent a decade yeah. pursuing self actualization th- in the digital form, right? Right. And right. it felt as real as like me, you know, being a UFC champion, <laughs> literally. <laughs> wow, dude. I've uh, TJ. Can you vouch? <laughs> can confirm. <laughs> Can you imagine the feeling like whenever you like got out of the Crusader trenches and you got Archon? It was a great feeling, right? Yeah, dude, that was great. What See? the hell did you just say? Dude? <laughs> See, you don't know. All my Dota nerds will know. Yeah, you Dota nerds, you know exactly what I'm talking about. First person shooters is the way, guys. <laughs> well, nonetheless, so this is an interesting thing. I'm glad we're talking about gaming again because, I mean, it's important. Yeah, that's the genesis of us, dude. Sort of. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for us. We de- we definitely talked about a lot of things today. Uh, hamsters, <laughs> metaverse, and games on Bitcoin. Tapping, earning. Zbit. Zbit runes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Satoria, DMT games. Satoria, yeah. Natomon, Foxy, what else? Damn, dude, that's a lot we did, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got more details coming soon about, you know, what's actually going to happen here. 
Yeah, and if you have any questions on Web3 Gaming as far as Bitcoin goes, let us know in the comment section below. We have a lot more to discuss, a lot more to get in, into details with all these games. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be interviewing somebody from Satoria, right? Mm -hmm. That's on the docket. Yeah, and... Um, Look and out for that. Natamon as well, and Foxy as well. Yeah, we're going to get everybody on here. Anybody who's contributing towards this initiative, because, I mean, <laughs> Ton, we got quite the competitor <laughs> in the room, right? It's only 900 million users, dude. No big deal. Yeah. We can topple that. Right? For sure. It's right. Bitcoin, dude. It's Bitcoin. All right, guys, that's it for us. Appreciate you guys for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.